Proving Grounds is similar to the, how it's used in the automotive industry or the military. It really was a, a way to describe everything we're doing here on this part of our campus. It gives us a chance to develop new concepts and ideas. That could be product development ideas, hard goods, fitting concepts, tour player services, and we can experiment with them. It gives us the chance to fail here and learn from our failures. It gives us a chance to iterate and do it with the most advanced tools in the industry and get all of those processes and products ready before we sell them and ship them and deliver it to the marketplace. So the test field that you see behind me here is that's where we optimize and we use that part of the proving grounds to work on the long game, full game, driving, irons, gapping. We study ballistics on the test field. That's a really big part of what we do is understanding how the ball flies, use advanced radar technology. Every shot's measured on TrackMan. We have our weather station that's tied up and synchronized. We've really developed a, a systematized player testing process where of all of our 700 plus employees on campus, a lot of them are avid golfers and they represent every segment of our customer type out in the marketplace and we'll get them to come down, hit balls on the test field. So over a decade plus, we have an enormous database of testing trends, how different golfers deliver the golf club, their swing tendencies, what's going to be the optimal launch conditions for them, how they swing differently in different weather conditions. Our player testing being so efficient and systematized also really helps our product development process obviously because we can take a product that's designed for a certain customer and really test it with them in the environment and with the customer that's going to be using it to make sure we're solving the right problems for them and making sure it's validated before we turn it on to production and deliver those products to the marketplace. The launch pad is pretty unique. It's, uh, it started with Bubba Watson really uh, hitting it over the fence here from our test field. We needed to move our players back and now all the young, long hitters, even the older golfers, they're hitting the ball a long ways with our modern technology. They can hit from an indoor-outdoor bay, and that's what the launch pad is. It's our place to really optimize launch conditions. It's really focused on driving primarily uh, for the players that are hitting the ball up to 350 plus yards now, and it's where we really can get them optimized in their launch conditions and focus on driving. Enzo is like having an MRI machine for your golf swing. Basically, it gives us the ability to see the invisible, which is the forces that the golfer is putting on the club at the handle. So they're applying force from the hands to that golf club. And so we're able to measure that through the kinetics. So Enzo is a very high frame rate bank of 3D motion capture cameras that give us that ability to not only measure the position, acceleration, and velocity of the club, but then we can really look at the invisible, which is the force application from the golfer. The Flight and Collision Depot is uh, the flight aspect of that covers the studying of ballistics. So we can hit balls with our Pigman robot. We can measure the full downrange flight, study lift and drag coefficients of the entire ball flight, as well as I mentioned our Pigman, which is used to do all of our product testing when we want to really control variables like impact location on the face very consistent delivery of the club to the ball. We can introduce things like moisture, grass to that environment, study friction. That really drives a lot of our R&D with how we design and develop product is with our Pingman on the flight side of the Flight and Collision Depot. The collision side is, uh, is making sure our products last and are durable and are tough for our customers. So especially our folks who hit the ball really hard, have really high ball speed. That's where we have our air cannon in there, and uh, we can send the golf ball at very high volumes, high number of cycles, and make sure all the R&D we do on the metallurgy and the structural design side of our products uh, will be well suited for our customers. The Putter Vault's a special place. It's a place where we get to celebrate all of the victories and wins. We have a lot of fun experiences in there with the players that have won events, get to visit the Gold Putter Vault. Um, so it's where really we get to celebrate the fruit of our labor here and everything we do at the Proving Grounds and celebrate that with the players, memorialize it. Pingworks is where we build all of our tour player product and also our test equipment as well when we're in the new product development phase. That needs to be built with the same level of accuracy and precision as those that are relying on it at the tour level. The Ping Putting Lab is what it sounds like. It's a lab environment. So we have a granite table that's perfectly flat. 
and that gives us the ability to measure launch conditions of the golf ball in a very controlled environment. We don't need to uh, worry about grain and different grass types. We take all those variables out in the putting lab so we can measure launch conditions. That allows us to fit putters for things like loft very, very precisely in a lab environment. We have a bank of cameras. We have a, a lot of technology that we utilize in there, again, to measure the golfer, how they're setting up how they deliver the putter both statically and dynamically and optimize those launch conditions. Consumers who visit the Proving Grounds are in for something very special. They get under the hood access to experimental tools. We have things like advanced software applications, advanced fitting processes, gamifying the fitting process. So not only you know, is it an amazing experience to get fit for your clubs, but you get a lot uh, to experience kind of under the hood of all the tools and processes that uh, normally only our tour players have had access to in the past.